Good afternoon, Harriet. I'm Court, the gentleman that you've been working with on the Trails West Royale SST right here behind me. Uh, wanted to take some time out, like we said, just to do a nice walkthrough video of the exact trailer that we're talking about. Um, I'll make sure that I email the dimensions over at the end that we've got a hard copy as well as what the empty weights of both of the trailers are and what your difference would be. Uh, but we'll just kind of point out all the features here nice and slow so you know exactly what we're talking about here and we're talking apples to apples. But you've got a 2 and 5 16 coupler up front here. You've got some upgraded heavy duty safety chains down here at the bottom. This is your molded 7-way RV plug. This is that breakaway controller, breakaway switch that we talked about. So the battery for this guy is actually inside the tack room to keep it out of the elements and to keep the sun from beating it up. So this guy's wired all the way back to the tack room for your emergency breakaway switch. Uh, Trails West has a nice 24 inch stone guard up front here just to keep the nose of the trailer from getting chipped up from rocks or mud that might come off the rear end of your vehicle as you're towing down the road. You'll notice the tack door behind me. So this is one of the tack doors. This one happens to be on the driver's side of the trailer. But you've got your nice tack door organizer here, what they call a brush tray down here at the bottom, as well as a bus window. As you look inside the tack room there, I'll bump to the other side, but you'll notice that we've got the pass-through door open. If we shut the pass-through door, that's what the manger looks like underneath where the saddle rack is. So you've got your saddle rack just up underneath here. You've got one on each side as well as two blanket bars underneath as well. Right here on the, the left side of the door as you step in there, that's gonna be that battery that the breakaway switch is wired to. This is gonna be a matching identical spare tire inside the tack room as well, so it's not getting beat up by the sun on the outside. This is a 25 gallon water tank here. Underneath this little lid, you've got a four foot garden hose that has double female ends on it. One of them is going to attach to the bib on the, the tank. The other one would just attach to your garden hose at the house and that's how you're gonna fill that tank up and then get the water back out for your horses when you get where you're going. Everything on this side of the trailer is gonna be identical just with the exception of not having a, a duplicate spare or duplicate battery, but the same size uh, entrance door here, tack room door. This is the pass-through door that we were talking about. And the measurement, I'm gonna include the measurements in the email, but the measurement from the inside of the weather stripping to the inside of the weather stripping here is gonna be 18 inches. And then the next measurement that we spoke about is gonna be from here to here. So going from the diagonal to the diagonal, that's gonna be a 17 and a half inch clearance right here. So that's kind of how you come all the way through back into your tack room. Now we come back outside the trailer. You'll notice right here, this is just gonna be a hold back to one of your drop windows. So this guy drops down. And the reason they do that is because if you wanna clip the window into that rubber grommet going down the road, you can. That's gonna just keep the window from bouncing off the outside of the trailer. This is gonna be your safety divider here. So we always recommend if you're gonna travel with the, the drop window down as you're moving down the road, leave the safety divider up. And then when you get where you're going, if you want to, that guy will completely drop to completely open up that window. So you're gonna have one of these drop windows on each side of the trailer. And then coming back around here, I'll move one of the curtain doors out of the way. This is gonna be a large bus window here. So I'll unlock that window. So by unlocking the window, you can increase ventilation by sliding that guy open, as well as keeping the, the drop window down as you're moving down the road. But we'll put this guy back out of the way. As you come back around here, you'll notice that we've got a couple of flush mount switches here. So these switches are gonna run the load lights on the outside of the trailer. You've got one all the way in the back up above your head there. You're gonna have one on the driver's side as well as a third one on the curb side of the trailer as well. This is that four foot spring loaded ramp. So it's a spring loaded all aluminum ramp. Um, the springs that are on here just keep it from wanting to slam down on you as you're putting it down. It also lightens it up. So it's just, it's a one hand job, nice and easy. Uh, now we're getting into the horse trailer here. You can see that your the inside of your ramp is going to be um, lined with a rubber mat just to help with traction, along with your rubber mats over your 2 by 10 wood floors there. As we come in, this bracket here is what's going to hold this center divider in place. If When you're loading, some folks like to pull this pin out, push the divider off to one side for the horse to come in. Once they're in there, you can drop that pin back in and load the second horse. You can also take this pin out of the top side here, this bracket. And once this pin comes out, once this pin comes out, you can completely take this divider out, 
This one would also come out here just with the same pin system and that completely opens up the rear end of the trailer here. We'll slide this guy back in. As you step up inside the trailer here, there's a couple of load lights inside the, the horse area for the horses as you're going down the road. So if you step in and look right above your head there on the back side, you've also got two load lights up top. And you've also, you're gonna have your rubber kick wall on this guy on both the drivers and the, the curb side of the trailer. This is gonna be a pad here, another pad on the inside of the divider. And then you've also got one up front uh, Trails West also puts a horse tie in the front here as well. And these are going to be your two-way pop-up roof vents. So these guys, will you push the handle forward, it's going to catch the air and act like an air duct. It'll blow it right down their main, down their back, and then out the rear of the trailer if you want to. Or if you have the bus windows open, it'll blow it out there just to help with a nice continuous flow of air inside the trailer. And if it happens to be raining or something, you can push that handle towards the rear of the trailer. It's still gonna allow for a little bit of ventilation, but it'll stop the water from coming inside the trailer as well. And then once you get your horses loaded, most folks will tie them off. They'll use this guy here. Clip this guy. They'll do that on both sides. And then you can step up in here, walk through the passenger door, shut that tack room, walk out, and you're ready to go down the road. Um, like I said, this is going to be an 18 inch measurement here. This is 17 and a half inches here, but I will go ahead and also include the dimensions, the width from inside pad to inside pad, as well as from the floor to the roof, and then your empty weights as well. Uh, if any other questions or concerns, you've got my cell phone number, give me a buzz and I'm happy to chat with you.